The winged fighter achievement is often a challenging feat for players to accomplish, leading to frustration and annoyance. Even though there are guides available, the achievement remains a significant challenge for a considerable number of players. Today, we will review all available information, break it down in detail, and ensure that each and every one of us can complete the challenging achievement. So, you kept your word, and you'll show us how to do it. Of course, Daniel, we're not here to jump on early hypes. The information we provide should be carefully refined and presented in the best possible quality to our audience. To begin with, let's talk about the deck. It's usually suggested to use Newt's Echo for its passive ability to duplicate the swooping evil card. In my case, I chose Neville for his healing skill to support my partner. I also added the prior Incantato charm to my deck as a way to create extra, swooping evil cards that can come in handy during matches. The Mooncalf Summon has a crucial role to play, as it causes your swooping evil card to cost only one magic point after the third dance. In addition to the aforementioned cards, you can also include healing, shielding, or defensive cards in your deck. These can be useful if you find yourself overwhelmed by your opponent's summons. For companions, you can use Lottie to help accumulate magic points, Daniel to assist with healing, or Harry to keep the opponent's summons at bay. As we're working on this achievement in duo mode, it's crucial to have a trusted friend who understands their role to ensure success. When you encounter bots in low rank matches, it's generally advantageous if one opponent is a summoner and the other is a spellcaster. This arrangement helps prevent you from being overwhelmed by summons. When attempting this achievement, it's often recommended to take a one-at-a-time approach. For instance, in the first match, you can hurl the swooping evil card while your friend focuses on defending you from an excessive number of summoned enemies. In the second match, the roles will be reversed. You will take on the helper role, supporting your friend as they work toward completing the achievement. The map in duo mode is known to be larger than the one in solo mode, this expanded size can benefit players by offering more space for longer throws with the Swooping Evil card. Alright, let's transition from theory to practice and start implementing these strategies in matches. To execute the perfect throw, position yourself in the upper left corner and wait for an opponent's summon to approach. Timing is key. I suggest we carefully measure each successful Swooping Evil hurl to determine how many times we need to execute it to complete the achievement. That was a successful throw, but it wasn't at full length. Let's label it as the first successful three-quarter length throw. The second throw was also not perfect. We can label it as a half-length throw for now. The third Mooncalf dance has just finished, and the Swooping Evil card now has a reduced magic cost of one point. This should expedite our progress. The Swooping Evil card was thrown to its full length in this instance, covering a significant distance and achieving the desired range. Yeah. A 
Our fourth attempt didn't cover much distance, so we can consider it a shortened or quarter length throw. Essence of Ace, a partner. Our fifth attempt resulted in a full-length throw, with the swooping evil card reaching its maximum possible distance. Our sixth try in hurling the swooping evil card was also successful and reached its full length. The distance was maximized in this instance. Our seventh attempt was also successful and achieved full length. The swooping evil card covered its maximum range in this final try. Let's finalize the results of our throws and see if we've met the achievement criteria. We're done with this achievement, having completed all required throws successfully. Now we will bring back the stage and measure all our successful throws to see the complete picture of how many times we need to hurl the swooping evil card. As we can observe from the screen, it looks like we would require approximately six successful throws to accomplish the achievement. I hope this information has provided answers to your questions and will assist you in successfully completing the achievement. If you still have any questions or require further clarification, please feel free to leave your query in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode. How are we supposed to return this Goblin Forge sword with Filch stepping on our toes? We'll find a solution, Daniel. Hopefully, when she won't cause more problems. <laughs>